So guys, we're now going to uh, commence uh, the uh, pre-flight check and the uh, start-up. Um, we've done the A check outside and uh, this is just going to be a ground run during the coronavirus period. So we will just get to it. One sec, go on. So heating and demist is off, fuel switch off is off, rotor brake is off. Um, so the first thing I've done is I've selected the battery which uh, appears on the lighting and control unit here. It's got various different selections on it and I'm going to walk through a couple of these in a second. The first thing I'm noticing straight away is that we've got a decent amount of fuel. We're not going anywhere today so, so it doesn't really make any difference. The T4 which is the turbine outlet uh, temperature is at 35 degrees. We have to be below 150 degrees. And the next important and critical item here is the battery which is showing 24.8. We need to have a minimum of 22 volts there and during the startup phase we, uh, we can't go below 15 volts which would be the, uh, the brownout level. The battery is providing all the cooling for the engine until the engine becomes self-sustaining, which it will do at 50% mg. And uh, we'll see that um, as we go through the start procedure. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the uh, generator and I'm going to turn the fuel pump on, uh, which has to be on for 30 seconds, um, and the answer the collision lights are going to go on. Um, we do a test. Um, to make sure that the computers are uh, aligned with each other and I check that very quickly by checking that the last four digits FC03, FC03 are identical and the same and I think you'll be able to see there that all the lights are coming on on the caution and warning panel uh, uh, over there. Then we go for the horn, turn the horn on, this will, uh, allows all the audible sounds to come through the headsets and the first one, uh, the only one that we're going to hear at the moment is going to be the fire test which we should get a single ding and there we have it, and uh, temporarily the horn can then come off, um, so just checking everything. Then prior to that, we're just going to very quickly check that the throttle opens fully, which it does, and then fully closed. Checking that the collective is, uh, is down and locked down, as you can see it can come up here, so we're back onto the collective there. And then very quickly, I'm just going to make a quick blind call through to Barton. And let them know that we're going for a, uh, a ground jet, uh, a ground run. Uh, so, uh, Barton information, uh, good afternoon, helicopter golf, hotel, Victor Romeo, Zulu, uh, one on board, pad one. Uh, this is going to be an engine uh, rotor start for engine health uh, check. Okay, so checking the temperature again is below 150 degrees, which it is. Checking the battery is 24.4 degrees. Okay, fuel pump has been on for a uh, greater than 30 seconds and um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to be selecting the starter over here and then immediately I'm going to be looking onto the VEMD and I'll be watching the, uh, the T4, the turbine output temperature rise. I'll also be watching the NG, uh, which sure that all those are, in, uh, uh, are within parameters. Once the engine reaches 50% NG it's considered to be called self-sustaining which means I can then come off the starter is stopping drawing power using the battery and the engine uh, itself using the exhaust, gas, uh, exhaust gases will assist the turbine to cool the, cool the engine. So checking that the area outside is fully clear, uh, there should be no one here today. Again just another check, 35 degrees is below 150 which is good, 24 degrees on the battery is good, uh, nobody in the vicinity, we're going for the start. First thing I do is go straight onto the starter we can now see that the voltage is dropping, the NG is increasing, and the T4 or the turbine output temperature is increasing. We're constantly monitoring those three values, but the critical one is the T4 value, making sure it doesn't race away ahead of us. Blades have started to turn, as you can now see. Monitoring those three parameters, the voltage has increased, and the NG is now approaching 50%. At 50%, we can come off the starter, which is about there. Uh, the T4 is settled and we have now become self-sustaining. At 60% NG, the VEMD will convert to a first limit indicator and the three parameters will be combined into one needle with the individual parameters shown on the right hand side. 